here with Feminine Presence Coach Tina Ebert, who is here to share the secrets to a powerfully feminine presence that will make you more radiant, sensual, and grounded. So Tina, I'm really excited to find out a little bit about what this feminine presence is. It sounds so mysterious. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what feminine presence really means. So feminine presence, let me start with what feminine essence is. So okay. a woman's essence or her feminine essence is energetic, it's embodied, and it's magnetic, and it has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the way she looks. Uh. So it doesn't have to do with long hair or long flowing skirts with pink flowers <laughs> or wearing makeup. <laughs> it's really how she shows up um, yeah. in an embodied and a magnetic way. And feminine presence is when a woman embodies her, her physical and her energy body. Mm -hmm. And she's able to show up in the world and not have to push to make things happen. Right. But she's able to um, be magnetic in regards to attracting more of what she wants. More success, more money, more friends, more support, mm -hmm. more joy and abundance, and less of what she doesn't want. Yeah. So when I think of the essence portion, I kind of think of someone who just when they walk into a room, they just seem so beautiful. And it's not necessarily that they look that like they're not prettier than everybody else, but they just stand out and they have this, um, you're just, you're attracted to pay attention to them. Yes, yeah, so that is feminine presence, but that's a woman who really is embodied in her essence as well. So yeah. think of it this way, it's like a woman's feminine essence um, is kind of like a light bulb. So her mm -hmm. essence is the filament mm -hmm. that runs up and down the core of her body and oh, it's okay. anchored in her pelvis and through her legs and into the earth. And then the um, bulb around the light bulb is really her radiance and her uh, presence okay. and her ability to who, be magnetic and turn your head and be attractive. That's a woman with presence. Yes. Okay, well I wanna be more powerful, but first off I wanna understand, you know, why is this so important for all of us to really pay attention to? Why is presence important for us to embody? So a couple things, um, for women in particular, I know this is true for me and a lot of the women that I work with, is mm -hmm. we can tend to shrink or puff up and project confidence mm -hmm. when really inside we feel insecure and yeah. insignificant. So for me, as a business owner, I was learning strategy after strategy after strategy and implementing strategy, right, mm -hmm. to ensure my success. And I hit a wall. And what happened was I became disconnected from my power, from really my authentic confidence. Mm -hmm. and. I, I hit a wall, actually. Yeah. Um, my sense of fulfillment and happiness kind of dwindled. And yeah. so it wasn't until I reconnected with my personal power, my authentic confidence, that I was able to realize that presence must always precede confidence. So a woman mm -hmm. who is in her um, feminine presence, she is able to um, just show up in a way that's more grounded, mm -hmm. more centered, more vibrant and she moves through the world with more of a sense of abundance and joy mm -hmm. and less resistance because she's not battling against her, her fear. Mm -hmm. And that's also what you're noticing. Yeah. That's attractive. So what are some of the ways that you can help people to, um, help women to you know, become more of a, build more of that powerful presence and live more into that feminine uh, presence that you're talking about? So it really is simple in, in regards to it starts with awareness. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of us, if we are, it's important to know where is your awareness. So for a lot of us, we're worrying. And if we're yeah. worrying, then our awareness or our energy is up in our head, yeah. or maybe if it's even not even in our body. So the first thing is to just notice where your awareness is, mm -hmm. pause there, meet it where it's at, and then invite it into your body. And you can do that in a lot of different ways, but the breath is a great way. Mm -hmm. Maybe bring yep. it all the way down into your solar plexus region, right? Right below your breastbone and above your navel. So like that belly breathing yeah. action. Yeah, not even so complicated as that, but just to bring your awareness there. You could even think about a quality that you want to embody, like maybe it's confidence or maybe it's a sense of calm or peace. Mm -hmm. And then use your breath to expand your awareness yeah. through every cell of your body. Now this can take several minutes, right? It's a, right? it's a practice so that you're spreading it all the way up to the top of your head, to the tips of your toes and your fingertips. Mm -hmm. And you're just allowing yourself to fill up with your awareness and whatever quality that maybe that you're wanting to embody. 
and then you can expand it out about an inch from your skin and even maybe an arm's length out and fill up that filament, sort of that light bulb. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way to practice just being in your presence, feeling yeah. grounded and radiant and centered mm -hmm. and connected. And I really think it's powerful when we can be in our presence and then go about implementing all the strategies because strategies are important, right? We need yeah. to have the right strategies in place in order to reach the goals that we desire. Right. But I often say that without presence, it's kind of like climbing a mountain that only has false peaks. Right, because so it all comes from within anyway. Yeah. I mean, you can have the greatest strategy in the world. You can have the best strategists, you know, create a strategy for you, for your business, for your life, or whatever it is that you want. But if you don't feel inside, like you're empowered to actually do it, if you don't feel um, confident enough to do mm -hmm. it, it, do it means nothing. You're not gonna get there. You're not gonna be fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Or happy. Yeah. Or joyful. You're gonna have a lot of resistance. <laughs> <laughs> and fear. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience before we go? Um, I think just um, it's so delicious to just take a pause. Yeah. Just notice where your awareness is. And if you ted tend to enter a room with your head five minutes before the rest of your body, <laughs> take note and just drop in and see yeah. what happens when you can be more in relationship with you and more comfortable in your skin. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for those tips. Thanks, Crystal.